you have like one of the best guitar sounds going going i mean it's it's incredible like and and there's a lot of guitar players listen to my radio program do yeah. you want to run through your gear once just what we use on the album I because guess. it is just incredible right from the opening do, 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 and then the rhythm guitar part that comes in and it's it's actually this um on this record it was really really simple i went you know I've been doing this thing where I started out with one guitar and one amp, and that's in, and then so over the what years. What kind though? Oh well, it was just a Marshall hundred watt back in the day. It was a Marshall hundred watt and the same guitar that I used on this record, and this record, um, it was a JCM eight hundred that I oh, had in storage, and I just like you know I pulled out whatever I had and I just went through it and, and found this one amp which actually was completely unbiased and sort of sounded like it was dying. Oh, <laughs> and right? so I recorded. It's the, like this needs to go in you're going well no, and I, no. I recorded uh yeah. i recorded uh, we're all gonna die with iggy pop with that sound then i biased it and uh used it for the whole record and so it was really my my uh sort of what we call it the Derek model les paul which was actually a handmade other it wasn't made by gibson it was handmade by somebody um as a 59 reissue kind okay. of deal and so i used that and i used the marshall and um and then the 800 yeah the 800 yeah. And that was for the cabs. whole record. Uh, just mm -hmm. a just a just a, a Marshall uh, four twelve straight mm -hmm. with thirty watt Celestians. They're great, yeah. you know, real simple setup. Yep. And then um, because I was playing both guitar parts, you know, my guitar part and then the rhythm guitar part sure. for the, what would be the other guitar player. Yeah, because I'm attached to that double guitar sound. Yeah, I would take the Marshall and I would augment it with. Uh, uh, like a high watt or an orange okay. or or a, a vox yeah you know or a magnetone whatever it was mm -hmm. to make sort of uh, an Character. alternative sound that didn't it wasn't exactly like the original rhythm guitar sound and that was basically it and i used uh you know i had a martin acoustic for by the sword and hard to I play used, acoustic man you do I so love well playing acoustic. yeah you do it very well <laughs> um and and i used uh, a junior uh, for in the song Gotten with Adam Levine, there's a middle section which is pr pretty loud and boisterous, and I needed a twangier kind of approach to it, and I used a junior for that, and that's pretty much covers the whole record, so it's uh, not real complicated. Thanks for that, man, because uh, <laughs> I, I have an 800 myself, yeah. and it's the best sounding ass. Now, you, I was reading in your bio uh, slash that you said that Iggy sort of set the tone of the record what is it about him, his spirit that he came in? Did you start off um, with him? Or? Well, I mean. Let's see. He was he was one of the first guys that I contacted. I you know I wanted to when I had this idea, getting the nerve to call people up and go, hey, would you sing on my record? And here's the music. And you know I had to go with people that I that I knew at first just to sort of get it rolling. And Iggy was one of those first guys. And his spirit just going into it was like I sent it to him. He called me back a couple of days later. He played me the demo that I sent him in the living room of wherever he was wow. in the background and then put the phone on the table and sang live like that and it was just such an <laughs> old school rock and roll approach and he was very excited about it so he, he flew in uh, from Florida flew to LA and just sort of like got in there and went for it and he's just Iggy is is Iggy you know he's yeah it's just like that there you know he is the guy that has embodies um, so much of the rock and roll spirit that inspired me and countless other people to sort of do it our own way and say F you to the establishment and F you mm -hmm. know just have at it and and you know that sort of original kind of uh punk rock attitude you yeah. know and loud and 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 sort of in your face and no holds barred and i i, I live for that and so he came in and he he laid his thing down and it was very sort of quick and simple and very inspired and that really did set the tone for everybody else after that not that they'd seen him do it but it just seemed to be the way that it went from for that you point. yeah it sort of set up the whole yeah. thing. okay this is going to work yeah. i was surprised to see that song it's at the at the end of the record yeah, right? yeah. usually cds are burning out by then but this this thing's just like going. Yeah, well like we this. tried to keep you know you learn from other people's records and yeah. and you say well this is what i don't want it to, to be i don't want it to to die out at the end i don't want to put uh the slowest track or the ballad at the very end of it so that's the last thing that you hear so i thought you know the coolest thing about um the iggy pop song was lyrically 
it's sort of a metaphor for you know it, it basically no it's not even a metaphor it says we're all gonna die let's get high you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. and it basically says everybody just chill out we're all gonna die so relax <laughs> you know yeah. and that's sort of the sentiment and i thought that was a great way to end the record yeah yeah and it just sounds like an old dirty detroit recording yeah. it's like you just you know, I, I was really impressed with the different areas you went into with these singers were, were any were you nervous uh with any of these guys coming in? Like, as you mentioned, these guys are your heroes, some of these guys. Yeah. Were you ever kind of like, holy <laughs> Ozzy's coming in? Or No, I mean, well, the thing is, is I, I Ozzy and, 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 you know, Lemmy and, and Iggy, who are sort of the old school guys in the record, are guys that I grew up listening to and I was fortunate enough to meet early on and, and establish relationships and stuff with them. But still, having them come down and, and put the time in to work on a piece of my material was very sort of intimidating and humbling and all that kind of stuff. And I think over the years, because I've steps stepped out of my own comfort zone and played with so many people i've learned how to um be starstruck and still be able to work <laughs> you know i guess it just takes a while to calm down right? yeah well, well you have to you have to, you have to that's yeah. the thing you have to be able to be cool and just sort of like put all that aside so that you can get on with getting on with things